here's a stagecoach that arrived a little bit earlier. Um, they're all just unhitching the horses as such, and the stagecoaches get put in there. Um, these horses arrived about five, five, ten minutes ago, and uh, I'll just have a quick word with Mr. Bowman, who is, um, it's, it's your job to look after these horses, isn't it? Well, these are your four horses. These are, yeah, these are my competition team, and Jeff, uh, Mr. Jeff Woods, a friend of mine, he uses his coach, Jeff's retired uh, FEI competitor now, but um, we use my horses in this coach. So your horses are usually used to going, competing at high level in, in carriage driving, yes, so this yeah. is a bit different for them. Yeah, it's, 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 well, it's our heritage, so it's, we, it's like to keep it alive, really. But uh, uh, yeah. How much is this like one of your highlights of the year, of doing course, this at Royal Ascot? Of course, of course yeah. yeah. There's different coaching runs throughout the year. There's the magazine meet in London, there's one in Cheshire, but, you know, this is Royal Ascot. It's the cherry on the cake. And I'm going to go and have a look at this um, one for stagecoach and hopefully um, if Jeffrey is around he might be able to have a word with me if you can come and have a quick word and can you show me around your carriage please because it is in beautiful condition how old is it? About 1880. And how many guests would you have on it? Uh, eight guests, two grooms, driver and, and the uh, driver's partner yeah. And you've represented your country at I carriage have. driving? Yep. And can you show me around the carriage? Are we, are we allowed to look inside? Yes, it's a Shanks. Uh, that was a famous London make. Uh, it was reputedly owned by the, the Earl of Lonsdale originally. Uh, and we'll have a look inside. If we'll come and have a look if you come and have a look inside if we can. And so four Thanks. guests in there? No, we, we never put guests inside, always on top. And we have a little toilet. There's a loo in there. Can you believe it? There's a loo in there. We'll just see if we can get a good picture of that. So you put the guests on top? Guests all on top, yes. I suppose if it's raining, you put the ladies inside. Yeah. Ladies inside if it's raining. It's in superb condition. And how many stagecoaches arrive at Ascot through the day? There's eight of us here. Eight. And we've got a couple in already. Yeah. What happens to the horses during the day? They go across to the uh, racing stables over there. So they, go to the sta okay. they go to the stables and then do you leave by coach as well? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, about five o'clock. Generally before the last race. So we don't get caught up in too much traffic. Uh, the horses will come back when we put to drive off back to... Uh, Windsor. Windsor, they come all the way from Windsor, it's a long way. M most coaches will be um, um, stabled in the Royal Mews at Windsor. We have been in some private stables just the other side of the park, but uh, uh, in past years we've always been in the, the barracks down there, but security is a bit tighter this year, so we couldn't get in. Well, thank you very much for talking to us and showing us your marvellous carriage.